representative from the Lear Whistle Company reached out to me over Instagram a couple weeks ago and asked if I wanted to try one of their new whistles. So of course I said, yes, please, and thank you. And they were kind enough to ship me one. And they were actually kind enough to ship me two, one to give away. So stick around if you want to take a crack at winning this whistle. We'll do that at the very end of the video. The point is, I'm not getting paid to make this video. They didn't ask me to say nice things about the whistle, but I also didn't have to pay for these. So whatever. Wow. Dear Sean, we hope you enjoy your new D Lear whistle. There's a lot more good stuff on this. I'm gonna get to in a second. Oh, I feel like I'm I'm opening a box for a, a, like a really fancy watch or something. This is, I'm, I'm super impressed with the packaging just straight away. That's very nice. That's for me. I'm gonna hang on to that. But they really went all in with the packaging and the, and the design here. It comes with its own whistle holster, which I'm definitely a fan of the whistle holster. <laughs> All right, now we're getting into it here. Solid, it's solid. Oh yeah, okay, interesting. I wonder why these marks are here. Not part of the tuning slide. It is fully tunable, that's good to know. I was expecting nothing less, of course, but I wonder why those are there. Oh, and they got it down here as well. Look at that, I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully this will show up in the video here. They got these two marks that are engraved into this. This must be very thick, yeah. Yeah, very thick. Aluminum, steel, uh, brass? Brass. I'm gonna go with brass, judging by the color on the inside of it. I don't know if that's showing up or not. <laughs> wow. All right. That's awesome. That's an impressive bit of engraving. I don't think I've ever owned an engraved tin whistle before. It's a Sean Cunningham Whistle Tutor. That's very cool. <laughs> well, moment of truth. That's very nice. It's very reminiscent of, very reminiscent of a Copeland. And that's surprising because based on appearance, I was expecting it to sound a lot more like a Killarney or a Wild or ultimately a John Sint because it is that similar design. It's got the heavier head joint. In this case, the, the body is a lot more dense, uh, again, than I was expecting. I wanna do that octave jumping exercise that I talk about so often because it's a good test of, of how responsive a whistle is. very reminiscent of a Copeland in that it starts to require a bit more air in the top octave. That's one of those things that I wouldn't say is a bad thing because every whistle is different, but knowing where that break point is and where you need to add a bit more or back off a little bit is important. And that's one of those things that just takes a few days or maybe even a few weeks of playing with any new whistle. Volume wise, that's pretty close. I think I'm, that's impressively close. 
starting to, you can start to hear a little bit of the difference in volume, and then of course the highest note, as all whistles are in the shrill variety. But the fact that the bottom half of the higher octave is acoustically or, or volume-wise fairly well matched with the lower octave, I think is, is a win. I think that's a good thing. That second octave, well, you really have to drop off the air a lot to break that D, which is a good thing. Um, some whistles can easily crack between those octaves and you have to really hit that spot. This one is, I would wager, it'd be a little bit more forgiving. Yeah, barely any pressure and it'll hit that D. Likewise. Hmm, the lower octave requires less air than I would expect. Interesting. Let's check tuning using my, unfortunately, not very scientific tuner app. So the first octave you can get right along, right in tune. I did have to pull this out a fair bit, more than I would would ordinarily on whistles that I'm used to. Something to keep in mind. Let me check the second octave. Yeah, again, it's, it's in tune. Um, you do have to set it out a bit to get there but that works. <laughs> it definitely gets there and it works just fine. One thing I did notice is this joint, it's metal on metal, which always makes me a little bit nervous. That may be not an issue at all. I don't know how to build anything, so I'm probably not one to, to guess. I would, I would have assumed there ought to be something on here like oil or something to make that joint a little bit smoother. I'm gonna ask them about that and maybe follow that up in the uh, description if I get a response, if they recommend anything, or if they just say, nah, don't sweat it, it all just works fine, because that may be the case too. Now, like I said in the beginning, we're giving away an extra one. This letter that I skipped over says, Dear Sean, we hope you enjoy your new d -Lear whistle. We have included an extra one, which you can use for a competition. And that's what we're gonna do. We're giving away this one. Where is it? We're giving away this one. <laughs> there it is. Brand new in the box. And COVID and whatnot, I won't even take it out. That way, you know, I'm not drooling into it or anything like that. Brand new, hasn't been touched. So this one's going to you, and all you gotta do is the usual three things. Give me a subscribe, give me the thumbs up, give me the like down below, and leave a comment. I don't care what you put this time. Honestly, I've just run out of ideas for things to suggest. Maybe if you wanna put in there like a tune you want me to learn or play or something like that, do me a solid and pick an Irish tune if you're gonna do that, because that's the only thing I really know how to do and won't be much good otherwise. Do all that stuff, and in two weeks time, I'm gonna draw from one of the commenters, and we'll exchange information and I will ship this out to you. The other thing they're doing here is they've included a 10% discount code, which, very cool, very nice of them, is Whistle Tutor. Hopefully that's easy to find. That makes this thing actually pretty affordable for a, a properly high-end instrument. They're 75 euro for the D whistle. They've got other keys and stuff that are different prices, but 75 euro, which is probably, what, like 90 bucks US? Minus a 10%, I mean, that's, you know, for something that's a professional instrument, which is what I would call this. It's a pretty good price. Details are in the description below. Thanks very much to Lear for sending me a whistle and for sending y'all a whistle. So that was very cool, y'all. Way above and beyond. Very awesome. Uh, cool. See y'all on the next one. Cheers.